Uh, this is called Lorea tridentata in the Latin. Uh, Lorea was named after a botanist from um, Portugal or Spain. Um, uh, tridentata because it has a trident shaped uh, uh, leaf structure. Um, think about Think about where it grows, right? And sometimes out here on these hills, it's 115 degrees out here, radiating heat. And this plant grows out here in that intense sun. And that's the time of the year that you'll see all these oils exuding off of this plant. That's that antioxidant oil. So what I do, and what we can do, is we can take chaparral, we can gather the aerial part, dry it, and then take that dry leaf and put it in some olive oil or almond oil. And the ratio would be one part of the dry leaf to like three parts of olive. One to three ratio is what we call it. One part of dry leaf to three parts olive oil. But, or enough olive oil to cover the crushed leaf in a jar. And leave it in there for a couple weeks to a month, then strain it out. Now you got what they call a chaparral oil, simple. A simple. Now, you can make herbal oils more sophisticated, more precise, you can tweak the math, you can make them stronger, but that's a basic herbal oil. Dry herb covered with some oil. All the oil is going to extract the medicine quality out of the plant, and in time you learn some oils are better than others and some extract better. It doesn't really matter. One ounce of chaparral to three ounces of, you know, one to three ratio. One ounce of chaparral to three ounces of olive oil or enough oil, sometimes the ratio doesn't work out, enough oil to cover the plant altogether. That's more important than the ratio. And then let it set for a month, then strain it out. And now you've got a chaparral oil. When you put it on your skin, it will keep your skin from aging. It will keep your skin from breaking down from UV, from sunlight, from harsh chemicals from environmental extremes, but the fact that you have something that can literally keep your skin from aging or breaking down less than if you didn't put it on, is a fun, that's the power of chaparral. It's a powerful antioxidant. I could imagine, you know, like occasionally somebody's, it's such a powerful medicine plant that occasionally people are, get irritated, itchy, red, rashy skin. That's like one out of 50 people. We need to respect this plant. It's chemically complex. For the full video and for more plant teachings, visit Wild Medicine School at the link below.